um i believe it was last year again it was december last year i was like start thinking about like how can we make things better again we're talking with this, uh, my colleague here on how we can improve uh one of the thing again because you have been in soccer community for some time started reaching out to some people that i knew from different countries um i remember before i could reach out to the nigerian team i had to drive like 30 minutes across the city to sit i uh, met with a guy named blessing he's a barber and i talked to him about the vision and whatever i mean it was difficult but you know i pitched them i met one at you know tim hortons i went to cameroon i met them at their home i was like hey, you have to join this so and then some of these teams uh, started pointing us into direction nigeria pointed us to zambia you know, Zambia then pointed us to, to somebody else, and uh, that's how we were able to build again the, um, to, to, to make it eight teams. It's not because we had the best sales pitch or, any, or anything, but based on the authenticity of uh, the vision of what we're trying to do in the community. That's how people believe and trusted us in uh in joining the tournament I, I didn't expect some teams they were joining in and last minute some th teams really really wanted to join but because of short period of time they were not able to join but again um that was the way we just were just sharing word over mouth and they pointed us to other people because this is something for our community it was not for us to, to say we're trying to make into a business of soccer league where everybody paying two thousand dollars no it was more about uniting our bringing our african people together and through soccer so the message went just spread out spread out and uh even i think next year more teams are probably coming in mm -hmm. yes yeah like my colleagues were saying yeah we it wasn't easy to find all these uh teams and the communities to join because like uh yeah last year we have we had some pictures and also like we have to set we have to put it on our facebook page yeah. <laughs> and we have to you know put some flyers there for them to see it and uh, also yeah that's how we so also like got some people to join this year because some of them were calling some of them were texting like they mm -hmm. want to join this year's tournament so we said okay that's what like you know and uh yeah like my colleague also was saying like we have to you have to drive and go and meet these people and uh, sit with them and discuss all this, uh, how this tournament is uh, going to impact and also help our communities. And some, most of them got interested right away and uh, want to join because, you know, Africans, we love soccer. And that's, uh, that's what entertain us. And uh, so, yeah, all of them, we yeah, are gets involved and, uh, and it was successful. And we are planning to have like four or five teams joining next year. And... Uh, we want to see how uh, we're going to improve every year and get more teams like because there are some communities that we don't think like there's a lot of uh, they have a lot of uh, players or people here like uh, you know so we want to make sure we got all these people get involved even if they are not playing mm -hmm. like to give us some expertise on what we can you know do and improve mm -hmm. on uh, this uh, tournament yeah just exactly like you said again it's not only for the players but if you know there's always a room for everybody on how they can get involved either it's you supporting your local uh community bringing players uh water uh either it's just you bringing out the kids take them off the screen come let them come outside and enjoy the game enjoy the nature um they, again we're looking for people to serve in different areas because what we're doing, we're not just serving, just, you know, soccer, but there's a lot of uh, uh, things that we can work on together as African people. If we come together, there's different things that we can improve, uh, either challenges, either uh, it's after school programs, either, like there's different kind of expertise. But if we bring all of those together in unity, there's strength yeah. to build our communities. Yes, we may all be from Nigeria, we may be from different Congo, whatever, Ghana, but when we come together, we're able to create something bigger. Because when they see us out there, when they see an African youth did something, they don't point his Ghanaian or he, they just see the picture, he's African. African. So, mm -hmm. and whatever we build, yes, we may be from the representing different countries and different uh, communities, but we are all the picture that is out there when we're in Canada, we're just all Africans. That's what they see. 
So if we build something big, uh, something good, positive, they say it's a succession of Africans. It's not a succession of one particular country or one, but it's a succession of all of us. Mm -hmm. So we welcome each and every one of you. If, you know, there's a lot of room for improvement and we want your expertise to come and you know, help us to make things better in our community. Yeah, and also like uh, we want to avoid any violence on our field, on, on this uh, organization or on the field and uh, also of the field because like we want to, we want discipline in, uh, when it, in terms of when it comes to the tournament, we want everybody to be disciplined. You know, we are not there to, to fight, we are there to encourage. Let's, uh, I know sometimes fall, uh, soccer is a little bit tricky, like, you know, it you, uh, like your temper will be high and you want to fight your opponent and uh, this is not what we want. We want it, we want you to love it and play with your opponent and this respect everybody on the field, whether the person is from Ghana or whether the bag, it doesn't, we, we, that's not our goal. We just want to make sure everybody enjoys it with and love it and play it with passion and also but violence we are is unacceptable mm -hmm.